Hi everyone, we are back again for our dua lesson and my name is Josephine Arthur and that's my apprentice. Oh, you want me to say my name? Yes, you have to. Right. <laughs> it's okay. Jolene and Lucy said try. Okay, and we've gone through a series of lessons. We've done the origin of Adua. We've done the, the attire that we're supposed to wear. We've done the colors, the way it is wrapped around the body, the body decoration. And today we're going to discuss the drum ensemble. And this consists of all the drums that are used for the dance. First of all, the drum is going to guide the drum. The drum guides the dancer what to do. It tells the language um, how to move your feet, you know, how to turn your head, the face, facial expression you should make, when to start and when to stop, when the drum and when the dance ends. The drama will tell you, and it's, it's a group of drummers who are playing together and telling what to do. So each drummer has one drum each that they, they play to guide you. So the first one is called a tumpan. Can you say a tumpan, please? A tumpan. It's A-T-U-M-P, a tumpan, A. So that's the biggest drum. That is the main drum. That's the first drum. And the drummer plays it with both of his palms. It's very loud. It's very bassy. It'll it it'll it'll cue the other drummers around him when to start with him. But he starts first, okay. And then the next one is called the dono. And the dono drum is the one that is used to support. It's called a supporting drum. It supports the main drummer. It's also called an armpit drum because you put in your armpit and then you hit it like you know. With a stick. Then we have the pitia. It's another drum too. It's like, a, it's like an hourglass drum, also called a supporting drum. Then we have the benko. It's also a supporting drum. And there are two two main items that I used to also give a timing, and it's called a bell. There are two kinds. Okay. The double bell does the timing it times you it times the, the drummer and the dancers or the dancer with what, what whatever beat they have to use with the steps as they move it goes like this kong 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 you know kong 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 so we're going to hear, hear it in the in the in the music when we start dancing okay and the other one too is called under it's under bell too it's a it's a single bell and this bell is used for supporting the whole ensemble. So it just, it just supports the drama. Okay. So the double sided bell will start before even the drama starts to play the main drama. It kind of cues everybody in before the main drama. It starts like this. It counts one, two, three, then come, 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 and everybody just starts to play. So starting from the main drama, and that's the tumpan drums, and it goes on to the other supporting drum. That's also. When we start doing the dance, you see everything just go well because you hear them giving you the language. They'll tell you what to do. Like you start with a talking drum, tells you to start your steps, start dancing, start moving, and then the other drummer support and make a beautiful drum ensemble. That's all, Jolene. So, what did you learn today? I learned the different types of drums, and I learned that like. The atumpan, atumpan drum is, is a the talking one that drum. Starts, That's the main drum, the biggest the one. Drums These are the supporting drums. And I talk about that. I mentioned the bell. There are two types: the double-sided and the single one. The double bell is the one that cues everybody, the whole ensemble in. But the single one gives the timing. It times the music so it's able to stay. On the right steps and the right rhythm. That's all. So you're done, okay? Any more que any any questions? Ask ask now. No. Okay. Bye. So um bye everyone. Mwah. <laughs>